So the agenda today, uh, we'll, we'll be talking about version 1.1.0, the key features of the Explore 5 and 8, and we will have a little hands-on refresher course for the Explore 8. And I'm gonna show you how uh, to update um, uh, the devices uh, th that you, uh, your clients or your customers have already in the field. And uh, I'd like to hear what about uh, your stories, uh, what you think about the Explore 8. So the product line, just a refresher, the, what we have, uh, the Explore 3, the Explore 5, and the Explore 8. Uh, so we have a 3-inch, a 5-inch, and an 8-inch. What's new in uh, version 1.1.0? Uh, we have worked a lot on image quality for uh, the uh, Explore 5. So the first thing we did is that we increased the intensity of the, the lights on the Explore 5, and we noticed a, a better image quality. We also um, um, reduce the effect of uh, lens shading. A lens shade, uh, meaning that there's going to be a there's going to be a better luminosity on the edges of the image. Uh, we also um, improve the exposure of, uh, uh, of the color exposure to get more details on uh, the image. And also, we have a more uniform colors when looking at the, the screen at an angle. This is for Explore Five. What's new in 1.1 1 .1, uh, for Explore 8? We have increased the letter's edge contrast at high magnification. So meaning that uh, we have uh, uh, a better uh, image quality at high magnification when you're in contrast. Uh, we reduce the dragging effect uh, that, that we had while moving on a contrast text. We have a, now a better autofocus, uh, which uh, we, for the distance viewing camera, we're offering uh, now the um, manual and the auto uh, modes in the menu. We'll go through it later. Um, less refocusing when you're in auto mode for the distance uh, viewing camera. Uh, we have now a touch to focus feature in the, the distance viewing in the manual mode, meaning that uh, you can touch where in the image you'd like to have the focus, you'd like to have the camera focus. And we also have the possibility now to uh, turn on or off uh, the lights uh, in distance uh, viewing in Explore 8. And all these uh, modifications or improvements uh, were done because of uh, customer feedback by you guys. And uh, we listened and we tried to uh, improve the product for you guys. A little run through uh, the key features of the Explore 5, a very portable device, the lightest and the smallest on the, uh, on the five inch uh, market, only uh, 0.5 pounds, uh, 228 grams. Uh, there's three position for the stand, a closed reading and the handle, the best image quality, uh, meaning that uh, we do uh, image perspective correction, so the text is always straight on, the, um, on your screen. Quick start at time, quick, no waiting. When you turn on the, uh, the device, it's ready to use in no time. Accessories, I have a list of accessories that's included in the box, a, a USB cable, and starting from uh, January, uh, of next year, we'll be uh, uh, adding an HDMI cable, which we found very useful when including it uh, for the Explore 8. So I have decided to include it for the Explore 5. Uh, cleaning cloth, uh, lanyard, and a polyurethane carrying case. Magnification uh, values from 2x to 22x, and contrast colors, uh, you have more than 16 options. Key features for the Explore 8, intuitive uh, controls. Uh, the, all the buttons are below the screens to ease of use, to so have an easier time to use the buttons, and they're placed where your thumbs are. Image quality, true vivid colors and edge enhancement. Polarized LEDs, and so less reflection when you're, um, when you're trying to view um, uh, glossy uh, paper. A bigger screen. Uh, eight inch, which uh, translates to 30% 30, 30 more viewing area compared to a seven inch. So that's a very uh, nice advantage over the competition. Touchscreen, simplicity of use, same gestures as an iPad or a smartphone. Um, and again, a quick uh, startup time, the device is uh, ready to go at any time you are. 
two cameras, two separate cameras, one for reading and one for uh, distance viewing. They're both 28 megapixels, a very good uh, resolution cameras for both of them. Uh, and the switching is done automatically by software when you're, you toggle the, the stands, which is uh, the next uh, key feature. Nice sturdy reading stands. When folded, you're, do, you're, you're, you're using the distance viewing. When unfolded, uh, you're using the um, close-up or the reading uh, camera. And like I said, the camera switches automatically when the, st the stand is folded or unfolded. Portable. Uh, again, it's very lightweight uh, comp uh, and, and it's very comparable to a seven inch uh, competition. Accessories, uh, C-type USB cable. What is uh, very nice about the C-type USB cable is that it's reversible. So you can connect it any way you want. You, there's, a no, there's no upside down or upside uh, right uh, um, uh, sense to it, so you can. Uh, there's no. Uh, um, there's no mistaking how to uh, connect the USB cable to the device. An HDMI cable to connect to a large screen. Protective membrane, cleaning cloth, and a polyurethane carrying case. Quick uh, USB charging. Also, the uh, C-type um, USB uh, charging capability, meaning that uh, it's the charging time is a lot less than our competition because of the uh, uh, the C-type USB. Contrast colors, again, the 16 colors, the same 16 contrast colors that we offer the Explorer 5, we offer also on the Explorer 8. So I'm gonna switch to my uh, webcam and we'll do a hands-on uh, of the, uh, the uh, Explorer 8. There we go, so we have our two devices, the Explorer 8 and the Explorer 5. Um, I have, I'm going to show you, uh, first of all, we're going to just run through uh, the uh, Explore 8 and then we'll see the Explore 5. Uh, so as you can see, the Explore 8 is a 8-inch uh, touchscreen. On the um, left-hand side, you have a couple of ports, the uh, USB-C type uh, connector, uh, the HDMI port, the power on button, and on top of the device, you have the capture button, which uh, is used uh, for a short press. It's for uh, to freeze the image, and a long press will save the image to the uh, memory, the internal memory. Buttons at the bottom of the screen, where your thumbs are, so very easy to use, very intuitive. And if I turn the device uh, around, we have uh, six LEDs with a polarized lens uh, on top to, um, for glossy paper. And we have the two cameras, uh, one for the reading um, position and one for the distance uh, position. So to start using the device, you just have to unfold the stand and you're ready to uh, start reading uh, a document. To zoom in, uh, you can pinch and zoom or you can use the uh, buttons, the plus or the minus buttons to zoom in or out. The middle button uh, in the center is, uh, it, the, the orange button here is to change the contrast. So you can have uh, different uh, colors that have been set uh, on this button. You, have, you can have as many options that you'd like to set on this uh, button and it loops around those uh, uh, preferred colors for you. If you press and hold on the button, you'll go in the only uh, setup menu that you have on the device. And the first, um, the first thing you have on the, uh, in the menu is a gallery. So over here, my, my gallery is empty, but if I would have taken a picture, uh, my picture would be on, on, in the gallery. We'll see it later. If I do it back, I come back to live and uh, I can use the capture button, press and hold, and it's gonna save it to my device as you notice, and we'll go, we'll go back to my gallery. And uh, my picture is uh, in my gallery. So I can start zooming in the picture. And also in the picture, I can change the contrast colors as I wish in the picture. So if I come back. Uh, what's new in 1.1 uh, um, in the autofocus? Um, we added a uh, an option, a manual option. So when you do a distance uh, viewing, you can have it as unlock, uh, which is our auto automatic mode. You can have a lock uh, mode. So meaning that the, the focus is gonna be locked to a sp 
specific height and uh, you have a manual mode where you can point uh, where you want the autofocus. So let's try here. The first thing we're going to try is unlock. So to, we're going to come back to our live. And if I want to do some distance, I just have to close the stand and, and I'm in uh, distance mode. Now in unlock um, uh, option for distance viewing, the um, Autofocus is going to be done automatically for you, but if ever the uh, autofocus is not done correctly, you can just touch the screen and it's going to redo a, an autofocus for you. And you can do that, that as many times as you want, uh, so you have control over it. It's not fully automate, automated, but it could be if you don't uh, press on the uh, touch screen. And again, in distance, you can change the uh, color contrast and you have the same color contrast that you have for reading uh, options. You can also take a picture either by pressing and holding on the touch screen or uh, you can use the capture button here. Press and hold the capture button to take a picture and save it to the gallery or you can just do a short click on it and it will uh, do a freeze of that uh, image. So uh, when you have a freeze of the image, you can use that uh, image uh, without pointing your camera to uh, the object you uh, just uh, viewed. And you can use the pinch and zoom or the plus and minus buttons to uh, zoom in or zoom out of the frozen image. You can also use your finger in order to pan once, you're, uh, once you've zoomed in your, uh, your, your image freeze, you can use your finger to pan through the image. You can also change the contrast if you'd like on that uh, frozen image. And if you want to keep it, you press and hold uh, the capture button and it's gonna save it uh, to your gallery. If you don't want that, uh, you can just hit the back button and you're back to uh, my live mode. So let's try our new uh, modes, which is the manual mode. So if I select the manual mode and, I, and I'm in distance uh, viewing, uh, uh, you can, the, the, the focus is not gonna redo itself. Uh, you can select where you want the focus to be done. So if you have an object in front, I can select where that uh, my focus, uh, I want my focus. So if I'm, if I'm in front of a, um, if I'm, if I'm in, a, in a classroom and I'd like to see the, 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 the whiteboard instead of the teacher, I can click on the, uh, the whiteboard where I want the autofocus to be done. And it's gonna stay, stay there. And as you can see, there's a, there's a dot that appears on the, um, on the screen, which follows your color scheme. And uh, it's gonna tell you where you have selected the autofocus. It's as simple as that. I can use a pinch and zoom or the plus or minus buttons to zoom in or out and then uh, use my finger on the touch screen to uh, do my focus manually. So this is a very nice feature. Also in distance viewing, uh, what we have added is the option of um, having the LEDs turn on. So how do you turn on the LEDs uh, for distance viewing? Uh, you, hold, you press and hold the plus or the, and the minus button. And this is gonna uh, turn on the lights for you. And this in, um, in um, low light conditions, it uh, could be very useful uh, to see uh, what you have, let's say on a menu or something like that in low light conditions. Uh, as you can see, the image is not perfect with the lights on. Uh, I'm just gonna close them here and I'm gonna explain why, is that the uh, LEDs are at an angle, as you can see. The LEDs were really uh, designed to be used uh, for reading in the reading position. So by offering this option of turning on the LEDs uh, at distance viewing, uh, you will have a, um, the, the, the LEDs won't be shining on all of the uh, screen, but you can still use it and uh, it could help uh, somebody that is in a situation where light conditions are very low. So I'm gonna turn, on the light, turn off the lights. Uh, I'm just going to finish uh, my uh, my tour of the uh, option menus uh, here. Uh, you can scroll down with your finger. You can adjust the brightness of the screen. The touch screen, you can activate uh, specific gestures. Uh, the auto shut off, uh, you can set uh, different times for your auto shut off. 
preferred zoom. Uh, this preferred zoom is going to be the zoom uh, you prefer when starting the device. So if I take, uh, if I have three here, and I come back to my live mode, uh, this three is going to appear when I'm going to I'm going to uh, turn on my device. The each time I turn on the device, I'm set to 3x automatically. Uh, contrast, I can select my preferred contrast. Uh, what I'd like my menus to be, my, um, my preferred contrast for my uh, live uh, streaming. I can use previous, which is going to keep the previous uh, uh, color contrast that I have selected, colors, and I have a couple of uh, selections here, 16 in all. The menus, the contrast I'd like to see my menus, so I can change and can select any contrast that I like. Uh, enable contrast, these are gonna be the contrasts that are gonna be looping on this button here when you're in live mode. Uh, so right now I have uh, four selected, but you can have as many as you like. If you'd like to have 16 on the button, you can select all 16, uh, but usually four or even two is, uh, is a preferred way to do it. If I come back to my menu, you have the options of lines and blinds. Um, so you can select uh, if you'd like to have a line or blind viewing. So if I select blind and I come back to my uh, live mode, I have my blind selected. Same goes for the, uh, the line. I'm just going to turn it off for now. Lights on or off, you can have them automatically on or off or even at low uh, position. You can change the text size. So you have uh, three different text size, small, medium, and large. Uh, the, um, the display uh, frequency, depending where you are in the world, uh, you guys are, be, you'll be using 50 Hertz most probably. Um, you can delete everything that's inside your gallery or you can restore uh, the factory uh, defaults on the device. And the about menu is uh, where all these software versions are stored are displayed. I'm going to come back to colors. There we go. Um, yes, so what I'd like to show you also in 1.1, we've work, worked a lot on the image quality at high magnification. So if I zoom in and I change my to a contrast color, uh, before what we had is that the edges of the letters used to be jumping around. So you'd, you'd, be a, you'd have a movement on the edges of the letters. Now we have significantly reduced that effect. So you don't see as much moving, um, which is really better for uh, impaired, uh, visually impaired uh, users. Also, when you're in the contrast color, enhanced color, uh, we have uh, worked a lot on um, the uh, panning of a text. So before, uh, when I was moving at a, uh, at a, I'd say a quick reading uh, speed like this, you would see the text appear and disappear on the screen. And now uh, you don't, you see it a lot less. You have to go really quickly, which is humanly impossible to read at that speed when you, uh, but uh, this we have improved significantly on this new version of the uh, Explore 8. So this uh, is a, a refresher course of the Explore 8 with all the new features of uh, 1.1. Um, we're going to take a look at uh, what's new on the Explore 5. So on the Explore 5, what uh, we have worked on is uh, really the image quality again. We have worked on the edges of uh, the characters at high magnification and at uh, contrast uh, colors. Um, so I'm going to choose a, a, a contrast color and we can zoom in. And again, the same effect we had uh, previously, a uh, little moving, movement around the edges of the letters, which we reduced uh, uh, dramatically. And uh, one major um, uh, improvement that we did is that when uh, we were in contrast colors before, uh, and we used to zoom out, we would see like a, a hollow around the edges of the uh, image. Now you don't. This is called a lens effect. Um, and this is what we uh, worked on a lot. And by increasing the um, LEDs, the, um, the, uh, the, the intensity of the uh, lights underneath, and adjusting a couple of parameters in the image quality, we were able to get that lens effect 
around the edges uh, gone on the picture. So that's a very good improvement. So good. So this is very nice. We have a very nice version that we have uh, just released. We're going to release it actually this afternoon. So you'll be receiving uh, an email, uh, an e-blast uh, with all the new features, uh, listing all the new features, which is going to be something like this. I'll show you the uh, e-blast that you'll receive. Well, basically, this is going to be the e-blast that's going to be sent this afternoon, uh, my time. Um, so later on uh, in the afternoon for you guys, uh, explaining the new stuff that's on the um, Explore 5 and the new stuff of the Explore 8. And you'll have also a link here to update your devices. Please click here and follow this procedure. So if I click here, I made a little procedure that uh, we can go through live for you uh, that tells you how to, um, in five steps, how to uh, update or upgrade your uh, devices. Uh, it's very simple. Uh, also, in this uh, link, I'll be adding a, a link to where to download the files, the update files. I'll have one for the Explore 5 and the Explore 8. So you just have to click on it, download the version onto your PC. And what you want to do, I'm going to use the Explore 8. It's going to be the same procedure for the Explore 8 and the Explore 5. But I'll use, for my example, I'll use uh, the Explore 8. I'm just going to find my USB cable. And what you want to do is that uh, you'd want to uh, connect uh, using your USB cable, connect it to the PC where you have downloaded uh, your, uh, your updated uh, your, your file. So I'll connect my device to my PC. You see PC connected. And uh, when you see PC connected, you'll have a uh, pop-up window. So here in my Explore 5, I have my window that just popped up, uh, with, uh, uh, which gives me the root of my device, uh, and it's called Explore 5. So what you want to do is that you go to your downloads or wherever you have downloaded your, uh, your new version, and uh, I'm gonna go into Explore 5, and I have a couple here, but basically you take your uh, .brn file, you do a copy, and uh, you come and paste it in your Explore 5 root of the device. There we go. And once you're done, you disconnect um, your device from your uh, computer and your pop-up window is going to disappear and you just uh, turn on the device with the power button. Now it's going to say uh, my update failed because I'm trying to go back in a version. I don't, uh, I, mine is already updated, but you have saw, you saw the image um, updating uh, software. Once that's done, you'll go back to a live mode. So that's for the uh, update procedure. It's pretty simple. It's pretty straightforward. It's five little steps. Um, like I said, it's going to be included in the email that's going to be sent later on today. Um, I had the, uh, some requests from our reps here to, uh, they'd like to share a couple of stories with you guys about the Explore 8. And if you'd like also to share a couple of stories that you guys um, had, um, uh, you're welcome to share the stories also. So I have here with me uh, David Goodman um, that I could unmute here. And I also have uh, uh, Pedro Paulson which uh, I can also unmute. So uh, you guys, if you'd like to share a couple of things uh, with us, you're very welcome. Uh, I actually didn't have anything to share with you at the moment, but I think David might have. Are you there, David? Uh, yes, hello. Yeah. Hello, David. Hi. Um, yeah, so I'm really it was just about the feedback of the products because I've had uh, I've been on the road now for about two or three weeks and I've been trialing the, the beta versions. And just to say really that uh, even with our key accounts where we've had a lot of success with the five and the, and, and the eight as well uh, since it's launched in September, the difference in this software has been really, you know, it's really been quite noticeable. And um, we've had a lot of very um, favorable comments and particularly I think Eric about the, the, when you're moving across the page, the yeah. consistency of the image that we, we're not getting the ghosting, and, and really, 
is uh, I think you know really a market leader now in, in terms of the quality of the image as you move across and all, and also when you do have the lights on it's a real advantage in, in the dull winter days when you're actually uh, zooming in at a, as I say a scene so you're looking at a whiteboard or, or some posters on a wall when you're holding the tablet out in front of you it makes a huge difference um, so yeah I'm really really pleased and um, as I say we've had some very nice feedback from people. Well, thank you, David. So thank you, Eric. Uh, so I'm open for questions, if you guys have uh, any questions for me. Um, I can, I'm going to wait for you guys to get unshy here. But while we're doing that, uh, in my PowerPoint presentation, I had a little procedure that we just followed to update uh, <coughs> the devices. And also, I'll be uh, making available some support material, which uh, was already published uh, when we launched the two products. But basically, uh, uh, for now, it's on a Google Drive, but we're working hard with the uh, website team to include them on the website. Somewhere on the website would be more accessible for you guys. But I have all your, you guys' emails, so I'll be sending out these um, these links to you guys and the PowerPoint presentation, so you have the links. So what you'll have in these uh, Google Drives is the presentation, the user guide, data specification sheet, frequently asked questions, competition chart, and the brochure, and also the uh, marketing videos for each of the products. And uh, I'd like to finish also, I like this slide here. I, I took a couple of uh, products, mainstream products, our competition, and just uh, took an image, uh, a color, uh, with a lot of color with uh, uh, fruits and vegetables on it and this image really speaks for itself compared to uh, the competition in, in, in image quality um, so I, I really like this uh, this slide so I have no questions so that went that went well You can use the chat to uh, chat me a, uh, a question. Uh, Eric, I just wanted to say well done, great presentation. And uh, <clears throat> like David was saying, I think it was had some great feedback from the market on this product. It's um, really has uh, taken a lot of the markets we've been gone into by storm. I think uh, the, the distance viewing is excellent on it now. Uh, and uh, as David said, the, uh, the uh, movement over the text is brilliant. So really, it's good to have a refresher on this. And uh, for, you, for those of you who have listened today, thank you very much. And uh, I think it would be really great to be able to have this recorded and get it out to other people who would like to just have a bit of a refresher on the product. I will be. I will be uh, sharing the uh, recordings of this webinar and also put it, I'll put it on the, uh, our YouTube channel also. So I'll be sharing that for you uh, in a couple of uh, days. So thank you very much for attending. Thank you very much, Pedro for, uh, and David to uh, be sharing your experience and uh, with the, uh, the new version. And if you, if you have any questions, don't be shy, contact your reps, contact uh, myself if, you, if you'd like. Uh, you can respond to the email that I'll be sending you for the recordings and the uh, uh, support material. So don't be shy. Any questions or feedback are very welcome. And I'm really listening to you guys. So. Uh, without your feedbacks, we cannot improve the product. And uh, uh, without your success stories or your failure stories, well, I'm out of a job, really. So please keep them coming. And uh, you have, the, have a nice rest of the day. And I'll be starting my day. It's 9 o'clock here in Montreal. So um, thank you very much, guys. And uh, I'll be talking to you soon. Thank you.